Snapchat has always been pretty strict since they call themselves a camera company about letting you post photos that are not taken within their camera app to their social network aspect of their camera app. When they did finally allow you to post past photos, they shamed these photos with a white border to let everybody know how ridiculous you are for trying to post things from the past. Then they decided, okay, past photos are fine, but only if they come from the memory section of the Snapchat app, which is where the Snapchat camera actually saves its photos. If you try to use them from any other app, for example, your actual camera on your phone, white borders of shame. Turns out though, it doesn't have to be that way. I was actually told how to do this from Dez, which is the social media guru over at T-Mobile, a title he clearly deserves after showing me this hack. Thank you for sharing the knowledge, Dez. Now this will work on iOS and Android. Now for Android, I'm gonna use the Google Photos app just because it's the most universal across all of the Android devices. And frankly, uh, you should have it on your phone anyway, even if just for the free unlimited photo backup that it provides, it's just a good thing to have. Uh, but regardless, you just need a file explorer of some sort that can see all the different folders that photos are stored on the phone in, and then be able to move from one folder to the other. Now for iOS, we can actually do this with the regular Photos app. First up for Android though, in Google Photos, you tap the menu icon and then tap on device folders and find the photo you want in there to post. Once you do, hold down on it to select it. Then you're gonna tap the three dots at the top right and select copy to folder. Navigate to the Snapchat folder and then move the photos there. For iOS, we're gonna open the Photos app, find the photo you want and tap select at the top right. You can also select multiple photos this way as well and select the photo. Then tap add to at the bottom of the screen and select the Snapchat folder to copy them over to that. Now open Snapchat and tap the snap icon at the top left, then go to settings by tapping on the gear in the top right corner, scroll down and select memories, tap import snaps from camera roll, tap the photo or photos you just added and hit import snap. Now go back to the regular Snapchat camera and swipe up and select the photo now from your memories. Swipe up to edit it and then you can send it to your story, specific people, whatever you want. And there you go, you can use that and post whatever photos you want. Uh, one other final tip though, because Snapchat really doesn't like horizontal photos and the fact that most of the other photos you're probably taking on your phone if you're not taking them directly in Snapchat uh, will be horizontal. A Snapchat will actually rotate them and it looks really dumb. So to fix that, I'm gonna use Snapseed, but you can use any photo editor that'll do it. I open the photo inside Snapseed, then choose edit, then crop. I select the 16 by nine aspect ratio at the bottom and then I tap that rotate icon to the left of it to make it vertical and crop the image as you want it to appear in Snapchat. You can then save it to your photos and follow all the exact same steps above to import it into Snapchat memories and go from there. Now real quick, this video was kindly brought to you by AppMatch, a neat little program that helps you figure out cool new apps that you should check out. Simply click the link below on your phone to be taken to their site, answer a few quick, simple questions, and it'll give you the apps that you should check out just like that. Totally free, super fast, and it can't hurt to try. So go check it out. There you go guys, maybe you knew this, maybe you didn't. Uh, hope it did help some people out there. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the tutorial. What do you think of me doing these types of videos? Would love to hear from you guys. Uh, and if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to check out more tech videos like this one, please head to my YouTube channel. And if you like what you see there, please subscribe. Also, if you are thinking of subscribing or you're already subscribed, please tap the bell next to the word subscribe so that you're notified whenever I do a new video and I don't get lost in all of your subscriptions. I would appreciate that as well, but of course, up to you. Now, as always though, thanks for watching.